worse every time a new documentary on Jeffrey Dahmer comes out. That's not even the punchline. I, get it. Uh, I think it's because people watch it and they're like, it's you. Uh, which I get. I, I do kind of look like him. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been watching recently Dahmer, which is the newest one on Netflix. Uh, and it's a pretty good show, but the problem with Dahmer is you can't really watch it if you have a roommate, because like 30% of the show is sex scenes. And as difficult as it sounds to explain that to your roommate who just walked in, I found it does not make it better to go, no, he's gonna kill and eat him. <laughs> I feel like of the famous serial killers, Dahmer's gotta be the funniest, right? I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but I'm gonna run with it. Uh, the, Zodiac killer, the Zodiac Killer wrote those anonymous yeah, letters, and Ted Bundy was that charismatic guy that could pick up any girl in a bar. Uh, but Jeffrey Dahmer just needed glasses, had trouble with social cues, and was an alcoholic. You're looking at him, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I feel like the reason Jeffrey Dahmer got away with so much for so long was because Jeff and I, and it's really weird to group myself with Jeffrey Dahmer, Jeff and I have really unintimidating faces, you know what I mean? If my face does not strike fear into anyone's heart, uh, or so I thought. Uh, I actually found out recently I'm at that age where women are just afraid of me anyways, uh, which is hilarious, I think, because I'm a child. I don't even schedule my own doctor's appointments yet. <laughs> <laughs> the first week of school, during orientation, I was walking down Wildcat Path to get to main campus, and a girl was coming in the opposite direction. And she looked up, and when she saw me, she turned around and started jogging in the opposite direction. <laughs> as if, first off, as if fucking Dahmer over here couldn't catch her. <laughs> as if a light jog was enough to have a case <laughs> And second, like I was a threat. You know what I was giving myself a concussion by fainting in the bathroom and hitting my head on the toilet seat? <laughs> this girl was running from a man who nearly gave himself a swirly. <laughs> I want to tell her this, so I sprinted after her. <laughs> Guys, yeah, I'm kidding. It was a light job, remember? Uh, I was walking towards main campus because I live in Fedigan Hall. Yeah. It's not nearly as bad as we make it sound, honestly. We do have loft beds, which sucks. Uh, I get no play because of the loft bed. I get no play because I'm afraid of women. If I got <laughs> If I, I'm not single, thank you, Shalom. Um, <laughs> if I did get play, though, the lock beds would be an obstacle, you know? Because, like, there's no sexy way to move a conversation up to the lock bed. <laughs> you can't get back to your room and be like, so when you say we had to hop in bed? I need to give me a boost. <laughs> and you can't make a joke, because that kills the mood. You can't be like, the last one to the top's a rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> I just climb up first, and then I reach down to help them, but then I, I betray them halfway up, like that scene from The Lion King. <laughs> Which, believe it or not, has a 0% return rate. Uh, so, <laughs> other than the loft beds, Fedigan isn't so bad. Bradley Cooper lived in Fedigan uh, when he came here. And more than that, some people in Fedigan think he lived in my room. Which is a lot of pressure, because now I also have to cheat on my girlfriend with Lady Gaga, and I don't know if I got it like that. <laughs> no, Bradley Cooper came here, and then he immediately transferred to Georgetown, by the way. Which means, like his first wife, we were his second choice. B for Villanova. <laughs> uh, joke's on him, we have a lot of fun in Fedigan. Uh, not so long ago, we played football out front, all of us, and a girl broke her nail and it fell off. And I'm not good in social situations, so I walked up to her and I picked it up, and I was like, hey, if you put this under your pillow, maybe somebody will replace it with a dollar. <laughs> Thank you, she didn't think it was as funny as you guys. <laughs> she did let me know, though, that I'm the only fairy in Fedigan. So, I, I picked up this hobby also since going to Fedigan, where whenever my friend Nick, uh, he's in the front row, fuck you, whenever, like, whenever he takes a shower, I fill a cup with cold water and I pour it on because I'm a monster. And, <laughs> The day before October break, he told me he was going to take a shower, so I filled up a cup, and I tiptoed into the bathroom, and I, I was peering over. So we've all been here. Just everybody went silent as if I'm crazy. Uh, so I tiptoed up to it, and I reached over, and as I peeked over, I made eye contact with the boy I had never seen. I don't know what you guys would have done in this situation. 
I dropped a cup of water all over myself and ran out the door. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have not spoken to him about the event since. <laughs> That's all I've got. You guys have been great.